Well, let's get more on this now with Yuri Levchenko, who's the leader of the People's Power Party and a former Ukrainian parliament member. He joins us now live from Kiev. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Yuri. Thanks we, for having me. As we heard there, uh, for uh, the last couple of weeks now at least, Ukrainian officials have warned that the Russians were regrouping and uh, intensifying their attack on eastern Ukraine. We see that playing out right before our eyes as we speak. Explain to us how important is this region to the Russians and how much longer can Ukraine fight against Russian forces in the east? Well, you have to remember that uh, Russia wanted to uh, and still wants to take control of the whole of Ukraine. And so the whole of Ukraine is important uh, for Russia and for Putin's regime. Uh, it's not just uh, the Donbass, it's just not just eastern Ukraine. Um, and it's very, very important for our viewers to remember that uh, Ukraine was able to beat the Russians back uh, from uh, the region around Kiev, from northern Ukraine, uh, from many territories around Kharkiv. So overall, overall, we are actually obviously winning this war. Uh, so now Russia uh, being unable to get results around Kiev, around Kharkiv, is trying to concentrate all its power, all its remaining power uh, in the Donbass uh, in order to uh, provide its people with some sort of uh, uh, illusion of uh, victory in Ukraine, yeah, so that Putin can use it for his propaganda. And of course, they'll try to continue to do this. And this is, of course, uh, very hard for us uh, to fight against them uh, when, they, when they concentrate all their might in one, in one place. Uh, but uh, our heroic armed forces are doing uh, their best. And as you can see, uh, Russia's advance in the east has basically slowed down uh, to just uh, one uh, area. And this is uh, uh, the front around Severodonetsk. Uh, 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 all their other advances in the east uh, around Izum, uh, around Popasna, they have all stopped and they have all been uh, beaten back by uh, our heroic armed forces. Of course, if, if our army, if our country received more uh, heavy weapons and quicker yes and to provide us and then we would be able to achieve even better results yes i want to ask you about that because now we have uh, the united states uh, which looks set to announce a delivery of even more advanced weaponry weaponry to ukraine uh, the german chancellor says that it's also going to be sending more heavy weapons to uh, uh, the ukraine's fight against russian forces do you believe they're responding to uh, zelensky's calls for more weapons do you believe uh, ukraine's western allies are doing enough in this regard well, they're responding to the fight of the Ukrainian people. The Ukrainian people have totally uh, changed all the uh, an analysis, all the plans of the collective West. I have to remind our viewers that uh, at the beginning of uh, this full-scale invasion on the 24th of February, 90% uh, of the Western uh, 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 um, experts, so-called experts, were saying that we were going to lose in three or four days. Uh, the fact that we are still here and actually beating the Russians is forcing is forcing Western governments to give us more weapons. But this is not quick enough and this is not enough. You're asking me whether they're doing enough. No, they're not doing enough. If we look at Germany, for example, Germany uh, talks a lot and keeps on telling us that they're, they're going to provide us with heavy weaponry. But in reality, we haven't actually received much of what they've promised yet. And these uh, uh, dates keep on going forward. We've heard about June. Now we're having about, hearing about July uh, and uh, November and so on. So, of course, uh, that they have done. Uh, the United States are doing better uh, than Germany, of course, but uh, of course we would also like to get more and quicker. Uh, and this is a very important point. I mean, Ukraine yeah. is fighting uh, for democracy, it's fighting for the future of the free world. It's not just for us. Uh, so if um, the collective West provides us with the weapons we, we require, we will be able to uh, stop the Russians quicker, beat the Russians quicker, uh, far less people will die, far less civilians will die, far less of our brave armed forces will die. Uh, so, of course, uh, we uh, keep on asking, give us these weapons uh, uh, quicker, because, of course, uh, uh, we are at a disadvantage when you're talking about long-range artillery, when you're talking about heavy weaponry, we are still at a disadvantage uh, to the Russian uh, armed forces. But even so, as I said, our viewers have, okay. viewers have to remember that we already beat them back from around Kiev, from around Kharkiv, so we are already winning this war. Okay, Yuri Levchenko, we'll have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your analysis as always. Thank you again for joining us.